An eye-catching bike that's been popping up around downtown Sarasota was born out of a stage production and a domestic squabble. The man behind the flamingo bike, a bright pink bike decked out with 26 plastic flamingos, goes by the name Dr. Nick Geppetto. Dr. Nick, his stage name, wears many hats. He's the caretaker at the Florida Studio Theater, but he's also an artist, a musician, and a puppeteer. Well, howdy neighbors, Dr. Nick here. Live in Sarasota, work at Florida Studio Theater. Love life. I'm working on a show right now called The Tin Can Rebellion, which are puppets made all out of uh, tin cans. I started with four puppets, and the first puppet was called Leonardo the Cat. And what he was Leonardo da Vinci's house cat, and he was now on his eighth life. And he told all about Leonardo's inventions. I like fixing things. When I was a kid, my uh, uncle owned this watch store. It was called Coates Jewelry Store. And I used to run down to my uncle's store after uh, school to go play in his watch box, which would be old watches, and I would take them apart and put them uh, back together again. And it, it was a lot of fun. It, and, and that gave me my, so to speak, tinkering uh, aspects of life. And it, it's carried on into everything. The, the mechanisms of a bike are so cool, and they're so simple. And so I, I collect bikes, just as something to do. I collect a bunch of different things. I'm a pack rat. You know, a lot of times with the creative process, I don't think about it. I just do it. Like with uh, the Flamingo, or, or let's go with the Dove bike. Uh, the Dove bike, I started by, uh, I had, I don't like to go to Walmart. I don't support Walmart, but I had to go there one time to get something for, at, uh, for FST, some blinds or something like that. And as I was going in there, I saw these, um, these birds right here. Let me clip one off. And the purpose of these morning doves was to clip them onto a fence and then blast them. So it was a killing mechanism. Don't like guns. Don't like killing. So I bought them all up while I was there. And so I had, all, I had like 60 of them. So now what am I going to do with these? So then I thought, well, I'll, I'll paint them white. So then I painted them white. I had a white bike already. So then I took out of a piece of steel and I cut a peace sign in it. And then I put the peace sign on the basket and I, I put all these vines on it from uh, vines that were being thrown out from a set from FST. And then I clipped the birds on it and I started riding around. If you look at the dub bike and you see it for brief seconds, minutes, Maybe even an hour. I don't know. You're thinking about peace. And if you're thinking about peace, you're not thinking about war and hate. And that is a beautiful thing. I live life. I live life, I try to live life to the fullest, as, as well as I can. See, I've been pigeonholed because of my size. I'm only five foot tall. So people, on almost a daily basis, have to say something derogatory to me. And it used to be that I had a lot of hate years ago. 30, 40 years, 30 years ago, I used to have a lot of hate towards people. But now, I bless them and move on. Because what good is to carry hate? If you see the bike, you know, and, and, be, and coming down here, hey, Dr. Nick, peace, you know, peace. That's beautiful. That does me, that does me good. It's a good day, Sarasota. Love one another. <laughs>